This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals Course D, Lesson 9, Fancy Shapes Using Nested Loops, Puzzle 4. This time, complete the puzzle with the fewest number of blocks possible. After each triangle, you'll need to turn 60 degrees before drawing the next. See how much easier it is with nested loops. Ah, so if you didn't watch my last video for Part 3, or 2, you should, because I know how to do this, and you will too soon. All right, so we definitely want to use two repeat blocks, and we're only allowed to write six lines of code. I believe in us. All right, so let's grab this, and then I need to move, well, I can start without it. I know I need to move forward to draw this first line, right? Then what do I need to do? Well, for the triangle, each side, I think I need to turn 120. So I'm going to start just kind of paste, copying down these sides. Something like that. Let's run. Awesome. Notice, though, forward, left, forward, left, forward, left. I'm repeating myself. We're getting rid of this. Let's use a loop. Boop. And now I can use three sides, and this hopefully does the exact same thing. Okay? So great. We're good to go there. Now we need to figure out how we can face the next spot right? How can I turn to draw our next triangle? Well, it said something about 60 degrees. Let's test that out. Does it look like I'm about to draw the next one? Oh yeah, that looks right. Okay, but I only have one more block of code left. So how can I make this all now that I drew one triangle and I got ready to draw the next? How can I make it repeat and go ahead and now draw another and turn right for the next, draw another and draw another? I can use this repeat time. I'm going to drop this inside and put a six in here for all sides. So what's going to happen is we hit run on the code and six times it is going to repeat all of this stuff of it inside of it. Okay. So first time through, oh, draw three times. Okay. Forward once, turn left. Okay. Hit the bottom of it. Zoop. Forward, zoop. turn left hit the bottom of it. And this is the third time through this loop. So forward, left, I'd face left, it drops below it because it's run three times, turn right. I'll face right, ready to draw again, hits the bottom of this and goes zoop. All right, I need to run five more times, draws the next triangle. So this should do it. Let's test it. Ta-da! Great. So that's tricky. If you're not understanding it, go back and watch again. You really need to understand this nested loop thing. We're going to be able to make some awesome, complicated games. Let's keep uh, going.